Monaco are still finding their feet under their new coach Nico Kovac, but they had a chance to get in among the podium contenders as they welcome Montpellier on Sunday. The Principality Club signing off before the international break with a disappointing 1-0 defeat in Brest. Captain Wissam Ben Yedda no doubt looking to guide them back to winning ways before next weekend's clash with Lyon. As for Montpellier, they suffered a painful 1-0 home loss to their southern rivals Nîmes last time out. And Michel de Zakarian's men are hardly renowned for their prowess on the road, having won just one of their last 16 away games in Ligue 1 Uber Eats. Pascal Baez in the Montpellier dugout here after de Zakarian tested positive for COVID-19. It was Montpellier who had the first chance. Guides on the board, denied by Benjamin Le Comte, who joined Monaco from Montpellier last year. But this was perhaps the key moment in the game. 19 minutes in, a straight red card for Teji Savanier. An important player for Montpellier, already three goals and one assist this term. But shown a straight red for that high challenge on Florentino Luis, who has just joined Monaco from Benfica. So the men from the Principality set to play around 70 minutes with a man extra. And in spite of that, they failed to create too many clear-cut chances in the first half. Goldus at the interval. They were set to dominate proceedings in terms of possession, almost 80% throughout the game. But making the breakthrough was proving tough. Sofian Diop here testing Jonas Omlin, the Montpellier goalkeeper. He scored in the win over Nantes last month, but couldn't find the breakthrough here. And in fact, it was Montpellier in the end who took a surprise lead against the run of play. 51 minutes, a mistake there from Gibril Sidibe, releasing Steffi Mavadidi, who showed fantastic strength to open the scoring. Well, Mavadidi joined Montpellier from Juventus over the summer after spending last season on load at Tijon. Just shrugging Sidibe off the ball there. Kristan Matsima was unable to put him off. Mavadidi, who came on for Andy Delora at half time, making it 1 0. But Monaco's pressure eventually paid off. With 20 minutes to go, they won a penalty. Jelson Martins brought down by Arno Suke. And the referee pointing to the spot. Ben Yedder with the responsibility of bringing his side level. And making no mistake, powerfully struck penalty. He's now scored four of Monaco's last five goals in Ligue 1 Uber Eats. But Monaco will know that they should have done better here. 1-1 was the final score. But that really isn't good enough for a team who spent the majority of the match with an extra man on the pitch.